good day, good day. So today we are going to do the bank reconciliation. Okay. The newly appointed bookkeeper uh, of the way driving school is struggling to prepare the bank uh, reconciliation statement of February 22. Okay. Um, so 4.2, we are told to do CRG and CPJ, then 4.3, we are doing the reconciliation. And then here, we are told to keep the reason why we are preparing the bank reconciliation. It may be that um, we want to check if there are any errors that we made by the bank or us, or uh, we just want to compare our our uh, bank account with the bank uh, with the bank statement but there are many reasons okay so let's go to the information uh, we are given the previous uh, month bank reconciliation uh, is of uh, january 2002 i mean 2022 um and then we are given the balance as per bank account. So uh, the opening of the current month bank balance, you must, uh, uh, okay, the opening balance of the current month, uh, um, you must take it in the bank reconciliation. So the opening bank balance uh, of the current month, you must take it in the previous month bank reconciliation statement. Meaning that this is your opening balance on one February 2002. So this is your opening balance, 15,600. Okay, so you are given the balance on the bank statement on 28 February 2002. Uh, it is 11,892. Then the questionnaires had the following totals. On 28 February 2002, before the bank reconciliation was completed. So the CRJ it is 20,420. 20,000. It's 20,420. And then uh, CPJ 29,770. It's 29,000. And seventy, and then let's quickly go to the information. Um, the following items appeared on the bank statement, but not in the cash channels. So they appeared in the bank statement, but not in the cash channels. So if we have items like that, they must be recorded in the cash channels. But note this. Uh, if the if the EFT of the previous month uh, bank reconciliation is appearing in the bank statement now, you must not record it anywhere. So if the EFT of the previous month bank reconciliation is appearing in the bank statement, you must not record it anywhere. For example, this one and this one they are appearing in our month. Uh, bank statement so these two we don't record them the reason we are not recording them is because uh, the first reason uh, we are we record um, the outstanding EFTs in the in the bank reconciliation it is because uh, they are appearing in the cash channels but not in the bank statement then if they are appearing in the cash channels but not in the bank statement. Then we have to record them in the bank reconciliation statement. So, but then once they appear in the bank statement in that month that they will appear in, in that month, it should be seen as if they are not appearing in the cash journals while they were already recorded in the previous month cash journals. So in that month, it will be seen as if they are not 
recorded. But you know that they were already recorded. So we don't record them anywhere. Same as the outstanding deposit. We have an outstanding deposit um, of 8,800. So here they are just showing us that now uh, the, the deposit that was uh, not appearing in the bank statement, it is now appearing. So we don't have to report it because they are just telling you that it is now appearing in the bank statement. So we don't record the two. And then we have a direct deposit um, of 3,500 made by a customer for her driving lessons that are scheduled for uh, March 22. Okay, a customer made a deposit. So obviously we are receiving money there. So it's 3,500. We are receiving money there because a customer made a deposit. And then we have the bank charges. So we know that the bank charges uh, is a CPG. So it is 260. And then debit card payment of 260, 250, I mean, um, to purchase a new windscreen. So we purchase a new windscreen uh, for 250. That is a CPG because we made a payment, so it is CPG. And then we have an interest on the credit balance of 52 rand. Remember, we received this from the bank statement. So in the bank statement, the credit side of the bank statement there is the receipts in the bank statement. Then the debit side is carrying the payments. So if this is a, an, an interest on the credit balance, means that this is a receipt. So it's an interest received. So it is a 52 rand. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. The following items appeared on the questionnaires for February 22, but not uh, in the bank statement. So if the items are appearing in the questionnaires, but not uh, in the bank statement, they must be recorded in the bank reconciliation statement. So we have an EFT numbered for 50 and numbered for 51. So in EFT, uh, so it's not appearing in the bank statement. So we need to go and record it in the bank reconciliation statement. So we know that we debit the outstanding EFTs. Sometimes it might be an outstanding checks, but most of the time it's an outstanding EFT. But we record them uh, in the same way. So we record them in the same way. So it's a 450 and 451. So it's 2,301.7. And then we have an outstanding deposit from the customer. So an outstanding deposit, uh, we credit the outstanding deposit. Deposit. So it is 750. And then the following errors were made. I mean, the following errors were noted when preparing the February bank reconciliation statement. Uh, EFT number 393. This one is there in the bank reconciliation of the previous month. Uh, was incorrectly recorded in the CPG as 9,500. Let's go and check with it. It was how much? It was 5,900. But then in the CPG, it was recorded as 9,500. 
So let's check that. How much is the difference? So the difference here it is 3600. So what happened here is that we were supposed to pay 5900, but we incorrectly recorded the 5000, I mean 9500. So this means that here we paid more. We were supposed to pay uh, this money, so we paid more. So to make this balance, uh, we must uh, now receive this money back because we we paid more. So we must receive that money that we paid more. So the money that we, that we paid more, it is 3,600. So now we must receive this money back. So meaning that we have to record it uh, in the CRG because more money left our business. So now we must bring it back. And then EFT, so meaning that now we are done with this one. So then now EFT 43 was incorrectly recorded as 550. So it was 5,500. Five minus 550. It is four thousand nine fifty. <sighs> so this means that here we paid less. We were supposed to pay um, five thousand five hundred. Then we paid this one. So we still need to pay this amount that is left, which is four thousand nine hundred ten fifty. Okay. Okay. Then the total equal to so it's twenty thousand four twenty plus two point five plus fifty two. So it is twenty seven five seven two. Twenty nine thousand. So it is thirty four thousand five eighty. Okay. So we need to find the balance as per bank account. So to find the balance as per bank account, we need to do the bank account. So this is your bank account. So remember, I said that. Uh, the balance of the bank account, the opening balance, you must get it in the previous month bank reconciliation. So here it is given. It is 15,600 and it is debited. So it's one paper. So it's a balance brought down of 15,600. So the next one is going to be 28 February. So on the TV side, you must also have the total receipt. Total receipt is CRG. So the total receipt, they are 27,572. 27,572. Then on the credit side, we must have the total payments with the CPG. So there are 34,580. So the bigger side here is the debit side. The bigger side here is the debit side. So let's check it is big by how much. So it is. Forty two thousand one seven two forty three one seven two. So the difference it is it is eight thousand six 
42. So this is a balance credit down. So we are going to start with this amount in one March. It's going to be a balance brought down of 8,642. So this amount is debited. So the balance as your bank account is debited. So it is 8,642. So if you can check the bigger side here is a debit side. So it is how much? So it is 12,642. So so for it to balance, because um, we were not told that the balance on the bank statement it was debited or credited. So we need to assume that because it's the debit side, it is bigger. So the balance as a bank statement, it must be credited. So that the bank reconciliation statement can balance. So it is how much? Uh, 11,892 so now they are balancing now they are balancing so now they are balancing thank you